Over 40 cheerleading teams and their friends congregated in the Singapore Expo over the weekend with one thing in mind, to find out who would take home the title in the first national cheerleading championships. In the open category, the Ulu Pandan Wildcards shared the goal with the NTU Aces Team 1. How do you guys feel about winning? Oh well, uh, I mean this is the first time we won. Last year we got fourth. So definitely it's a great feeling to win. It's not a clean cut win, but it's still a win. We are still a champion. Okay, so it's not a clean cut win. Uh, do you feel that you guys are on par with the other team or do you think that you did a bit better? Uh, I think we did better than the other team. <laughs> So what is your typical training regime like? Our official training is for um, two days, Tuesdays and Saturday. Um, for guys, usually we'll gym almost every day, so so they can carry the girls. Uh. And for the girls, they will go to gym as well, do light weights, and we'll do gymnastic training as well. Cheerleading is not such a guy thing, right? So what turned you to it? I only got one sentence for the guys out there. A normal guy can hold the girls by their hands, but only the elites can hold them by their feet. He must be strong in order to carry us up, you know. You don't say they are a CC because they are not. Yeah. If you think they are CC, come and try. Come and be their place, take their place. Yeah. Try to raise our feet, you know. Try to trust us. Yeah. It's not only the guys who are putting in the hours, the girls are troopers too. For the girls, do you guys get a lot of injuries? Like ankles or like hands, the wrists. Yeah. Like, because cheerleading is a really dangerous sport, like, because our life depends on our bases, you know, and the top level depends on the mid-tier. For me, basically, um, I injured my elbow, yeah, and some, my ankle, but it's not that bad lah. Um, basically, for our team members, yeah, we are quite strong, you know, like, we get, we have a lot of injury, but then we still move on as a team, then we encourage one another, ask each other, ask, like, ask them to go and see doctor, yeah. But basically, for all of us, we'll want to compete, and that's why we'll come to training, even though we are injured. The Singaporean crowds were treated to a performance by the Japanese exhibition team. That's in our next clip.